We are replacing our steering box today. This is Napa 39-1075 steering gear. This is what it looks like. It's bagged. After discounts and stuff, this was about $120. And that does not include a $37 core charge. Shame on you, Napa. We're just taking stickers off this guy, and guess what? The paint would rather stick to the sticker than to the, our new steering box. So we have the box in position. Each bolt gets a washer. They're little oct octagonal washers. They look like little stop signs. There are three bolts. They start on the, on the opposite side of the frame. They go through and they bolt directly to the steering box. Okay. This will be the third bolt. We looked at the factory manual. It says to torque these bolts to 70 foot-pounds, so it's probably not really strictly necessary, but we're just going to do it. This is a Pittman arm. The first question that came up is, does this thing have a top and a bottom? And the answer is, yes it does. And the way that we know that is because if you make this part be flat, the other end hops up off the ground. So um, it's very mild, but basically there, there is a little bit of diagonal element to this guy. And just for the record, the part number stamped on this guy is 3964881GMT73A. This part number is stamped on the bottom side of the Pittman arm. Pittman arms are notoriously hard to get off. They have a tendency to seize. So we're applying anti-seize to the teeth. Um, we might need to jack the car off the ground to have the ability to move it. We're putting the, the wheels back to being straight. And we're putting our race ramps back under the tires. And we're going to lower the car back onto the race ramps. It's going to help us keep everything from moving while Dylan is torquing this nut. We are trying to push a stud up into our pitman arm so that it doesn't spin because the problem we had before that is as we were trying to tighten the nut on, the stud was just spinning. So the hope is Stud goes firmly up into the pitman arm, it stops spinning, we tighten the nut. That makes the stud even tighter inside the pitman arm. We put the nut at 40 foot pounds and we're done. That's it. <laughs> That's it. All right, we're going for 250.
That's 250.